Okay, my name is Dr. Mariana Ezerman. I'm a deputy coroner here at Jefferson Parish Forensic Center. Our job is to determine the cause and manner of death. So we're, you know, it's a, we know it's a gunshot wound heading into a gunshot wound case. Um, so then it's our job to just to let the families or the police know what exactly was hit. So then they can take that back to the uh, justice system and you know play out different scenarios. So when a bullet enters the body, it actually creates what's called a permanent cavity. So the actual bullet punching through tissues will leave a mark. But then what's also not seen or talked about much is the temporary cavity, which is the energy that the bullet carries with it, um, which is can do um, ancillary damage as it travels through the body. So probably the most common example of that would be um, in the neck. So our neck has the spine, the bones, and then inside the bones is the spinal cord, which carries a signal from the brain to the body to do all this movement and whatnot. Well, if one of those bullets passes through the soft tissues of the neck and not hit any vessels, but in the back, it get, if it gets close enough to the bone, it will, the bone will vibrate, and then the energy will also be transferred to the spinal cord and sometimes damage the spinal cord. Different bullets, depending on their caliber, will have a certain mass. That's pretty much stable in most of uh, projectiles that are used. What does vary is the velocity at which they travel from different handguns or rifles. Higher power rifles are going to be much more damaging on the inside, even though on the outside, the hole will look the same. Uh, the last one you want to get shot with is the one that's going to hit a vital organ. It really doesn't matter, you know, a 22 through the heart versus a 45 um, through the aorta, it's going to be the same. You know, if I get shot with a 45 in the leg, that's, you know, going to hurt, but it, it will survive that. My job is to connect entrance with exit and note anything that's damaged in between. In fact, it's not infrequent where, you know, we're trying to connect A to B but really note that there's you know, maybe a ricochet on the inside of the body, and this happens a lot actually in the head as well. It could bounce somewhere else and you will find it in an unexpected area, and that's why x-rays are vital in our work in order to locate the bullet.